Hello, in this video we're going to find where average cost equals marginal cost. Here's the firm's total cost of production, given by the following equation, where Q is the quantity of output. We want to find where average cost, or what some books call average total cost, equals marginal cost. There are two methods you can do to solve this problem. Method one is to set the average cost equation equal to marginal cost and then solve for Q. So let's get average cost. Average cost is total cost divided by quantity. So for the total cost equation, I'm going to divide through by Q, 400 divided by Q, 6Q divided by Q is just 6, and 0.01Q squared divided by Q is just 0.01Q. So take total cost, divide it through by Q, and you'll now have average total cost or average cost. Next thing is to get marginal cost. If marginal cost is not given to you, you can get it by taking the derivative of the total cost equation. So the derivative of 400 or a constant is 0. The derivative of 6q is just 6. And the derivative of this last term here, we're going to take this 2 down in front, so it's going to be 2 times 0 0.01. That's where this 0 0.02 is coming from, so 2 times what's out in front. And then on the exponent, we're going to subtract 1. So 2 minus 1 here in the exponent just leaves us with Q. So we got our average cost equation and marginal cost equation. Let's set them equal to one another. So we got one equation and one unknown. We're just going to solve for Q. So a 6 on the left-hand side and a 6 on the right-hand side of the equation cancels. And now we're left with this. Subtracting this 0.01q from both sides and simplifying then the right hand side. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply both sides through by q. And that brings us to this step. And dividing everything through by 0.01. Simplifying the right-hand side, that'll just be 40,000. Taking the square root of both sides, or raising both sides to the one-half power. So the left-hand side, 2 times 1 half is just 1, or Q. And then the square root of 40,000, or 40,000 to the one-half power, gives us 200. So average cost equals marginal cost when the firm produces 200 units of output. We could calculate the value of that cost, average cost or marginal cost at 200 units of output by taking this 200 and plugging it back in either the average cost or marginal cost equation. So at Q equals 200, and I'm plugging it here back in the marginal cost equation, we see that average cost and marginal cost will be $10. All right, let me show you method two on how to solve where average cost equals marginal cost. Method two is we're going to take the derivative of the average cost equation, set that derivative equal to zero, and then solve for Q. So as we already found, average cost equals the following just taking total cost and dividing it through by Q. Now I'm going to take the derivative of this expression. So using the quotient rule, the derivative of 400 divided by Q is minus 400 divided by Q squared. The derivative of 6 is 0, and then a derivative of 0.01Q is just 0.01. And then we're going to set that derivative equal to 0, so that's why I have equal to 0 here. And then just rewriting that uh, result, moving some things around, losing the minus sign here, multiplying everything through by Q squared, dividing through by 0 0.01, and you might start recognizing the, the math that we just did here on the previous slide. 
So simplifying this, once again, we find that average cost equals marginal cost at 200 units of output. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.